happy 50th independence to Jamaica. Yay! And happy 50th independence to Trinidad. Yay! I was at the um, Medgar Evers celebration. There were a ton of people were like a pop, pop, pop. I couldn't believe it. Anyway, uh, yes. I want to do something, a poem about Jamaica, so we can remember what Jamaica is like. All right. All right. And I'm a country girl, so I'll say no. All right. I know you have some here come from, but they are long, long time. I know you some have come from me there a long, long time. It wasn't exactly a Roman selfish a shingle house or when Wappy killed Philip. But me hear about it enough. Because I know you some have come from me there a long, long time. So what? This is a little story about me. Me really don't know if it's that, but me I go try to make it short. Me love me daddy, he is my favorite man. He was a farmer who planted banana, breadfruit, and yam. And my mother, she was just a girl when she had me without a plan. A four away, but me is the oldest one. So me used to have to wash everybody clothes down a river by hand, then go and go, go look good, and then come back and cook. We used to have to wake up before day every morning because I six miles to school, and if you late, you get a beaten. And in the evening when you come home, you have to cook and share the and then while they have feeding. After that, we have to make a bed before dark, because we never have no electric light. And my granny would have tell us how scary the is for a candy bar on the every night. <laughs> then when it's time for bed, that was like math, science, and geography. <laughs> a seven picnic on one bed. Yet no bicker in our fight in our else granny take her knock and conk you on your head. And the last thing we do before we go out the tilly lamp is pray loud enough so granny can hear you. Then you sleep till before day. When the rooster crow, you better know. Wow. 